Welcome to the Jamoti Podcast. We are all surrounded by amazing coaches and leaders. So let's get an inside look at not just what they do, but how they do what they do. After all, becoming the best versions of ourselves is Jamoti, just a matter of doing it. Based on you as a shooter, uh, I would imagine that it, it would be really fun being in a practice with you because I think the emphasis that you'd put on it probably, you know, the way that you talk about it, you could see kind of the passion come out. If you had you, your, your guys walk in the gym, you have a lim limited amount of time and you want them to play a shooting game, but it's your favorite shooting game. What do they go to? Um, I really like, um, like, I like doing like the 80, we call it 90 and five. So it's just basically, I mean, you probably said before where, you know, you have a group and they have, you know, say you have six guys and they have five balls and we do 10 minutes. And so they got to make 90 at each bat. So they, they basically, guy without a ball, you pass them, he shoots it and you just follow and you got to make 180 as a group. And we do that every single day. Um, and there's a couple of things because I think, you know, you know, it's, I like different shooting games, like when you're doing this, like skill stuff, like there, there's a lot of, like a lot of things you can do, but like in a, in a, in a group setting. Yeah. That's my favorite because you get a lot of shots up and then, you know, it's competitive. So you have to make, you know, like you let our guys know, like, this is the, the, like each minute, this is where, you know, you should be. And then they have, they'll have minutes like they're bad and they, and they kind of excel. And then, you know, the whole goal too is like, as you get like once you it's not about just winning the drill it's about like i want to destroy the drill so it's like you we're about like we got 30 seconds left we're on 88 it's not time to relax it's time to like let's see i want to beat this team by 20 you know so yeah. it's just that's my favorite thing to do it's it's pretty simple um and it's really basic but i think it creates a competitiveness and guys and it's fun when you watch it like you see like the guy in front of you hits one and then you hit one and it just creates that like you know the game like you hit two or three in a row it, it creates that momentum that, confidence, that, confidence yeah. that momentum and then you see guys miss several in a row it's like, okay well you gotta find it you gotta find it you know um and you know like it, it, a lot of it depends on how hard they go how fast they move they get more shots up you know we've even done it too where we count the makes and the attempts and they have to reach a certain goal like they got to get a certain amount of attempts up as well as making, you know, so that that's my favorite thing to do. Like we we do that every single day. Like I I'm big on like the form shooting. We do touch shooting. Like we kind of like, like every day we do we do 12 minutes, 22 minutes of this stuff every day. Um, um, and a lot of this stuff is like our our extra stuff. So they come in and we do shuffle shooting. We work. I work. I'm real big on left right step when you shoot. Um, and we just and, and I teach and my I teach kids. You know, everybody shoots it differently. But I, I like to, you know, my big thing is I keep it high and let it fly. Like you, you want to shoot it where you catch it, and the less motion you can create in your shot, the more, the less room for error. So, you know, you can shoot it like, you know, Larry Bird, like he was an amazing shooter. Like some of these guys, they they can do those things, but it's just you have to be perfect in that every time. And those guys are different. You know, like if you can have, if you have a short, compact jump shot, well. Your error, like if I had, if I had a robot, I tell you, if I put a robot out here and calculated it, and put a ball, and from this spot, it would make it every time. So like if you can find that consistency in how your shot is, that comes with shooting. That that's a big thing. And so I really try to teach them like don't drop it. I know a lot a lot of this stuff today. Like like so it goes against some of like the shooting stuff, but I'm like less motion, keep it high. And if you're going to shoot it, just shoot it. You know, like don't try to make, don't throw darts. Um, and give kids confidence. And if it's, a, and I'm like with you, we talked about like with the, with the shot chart, like we do not, I haven't ever done that. And I think I might try to start doing some like, like rate the shots, but it's like, you know, what's the, what's the point of um, the offense possession? Like we want to score. It's like, yes, but sometimes you score and it's a bad possession. And yeah. sometimes, so it's like, we want to get a great shot. And sometimes you don't make great shots, but that's what, what our goal is. And so, um, so that's yeah, the kind problem, of the problem with the problem with great shot or bad shot or mm -hmm. a good shot. All of those vague terms is that you've got five guys. You got little Timmy sitting there yeah. thinking that well, my great shot is a step mm -hmm. back three from the volleyball line. Yeah, and, and, yeah. and so yeah, yeah, one of the biggest things that 
transformed, I think, just the way that we teach offense and the way that we play is adopting a shot scale yeah. that everybody where everybody can speak the same language mm -hmm. and there's no emotion involved because shot selection is personal to oh, people. Yeah. And yeah. it's a way, one of the biggest ways to kill or erode confidence in a player mm -hmm. is yeah. to say that's a bad shot. Yeah, no, I agree with that. And so just having that, that, that form, like kind of like, Hey, this is what we're looking for. We're trying to get this shot. Um, you know, and then like be realistic. Like that is a, if that's a, whatever you say, it's a seven, but it's a shot, but I got a guy there that's a better exactly. shooter. Exactly. And that's a seven. Like that's when you become a good basketball player. Like that's when you start, you know, and really trying to, and that's the hard thing is like getting kids to understand that, like we'll be playing today and they'll throw it to a guy that's open and he doesn't catch. And he's like, come on. I was like, that's your fault because yeah, KYP know your personnel. Position. You know, it's like, you know, just the same stuff we heard and don't pitch it ahead to a big guy. Like we're not going to expect you to guard the six ten guy when you're five, eight, you know, so just put people in positions to be successful. And so I, I actually really like the, the shot ranking. What is, what is your shot ranking? Yeah. So before we, I'll, I'll share it with you before, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. before yeah. we do that, um, you, you're on the right track already though with how how can I clearly tell a player yeah you are open but because he's really open that ball needs to go there the only way that you can do that is if you're tracking their shooting yeah or or and not, when I say tracking not just writing things down but you play a shooting game everybody come in raise your hand if you made 20 or more keep it up 25 or more 30 or more and you see hands dropping you mm -hmm. writing down scores to a game over and over and over again where i'm at 30 in this game he's always at 60 in a game it's not like it shows that i'm a smart player but it's mm -hmm. also obvious i'm kind of open but i should one more that i should hero yeah. pat pass yeah. that to the guy that's better that yeah. hat that you can't do that if you're not charting you're yeah. shooting in game in practice because then you're you're telling somebody based on something that they really don't know or yeah. they're unsure of right. yeah the, the closest thing that we've done to that is like before we start the season we will i got like a, a player evaluation packet that we fill out and they pick who are our top three shooters and then i post the results not who chose who but like right you got the average yeah 20 votes of the 25 kids and 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 you know, you start seeing people. You ask them, like, you, and you see real quick what people think of themselves. And that, that's a, I use that a lot sometimes to kind of I like that gauge our because this kid is going to be at best a role player on varsity, and he puts himself as the second best player. Well, it's like he doesn't have. Come a on, Timmy. Come on, Timmy. <laughs> he doesn't have a realistic view of himself, and so it's like now you have to figure, like, realize, like, yeah. well, what's you know? So it's just. Stuff like that. No, I think I think that's great. Just having the kids know, because you know, it's hard. Like we played with the mind games. Like people, our coach would try to, like it was like a psych psychological. Something. Like someone show up and like, what is like? You never knew where you stood. I have taken the complete because I didn't like that plan. Yeah. I didn't think I I excelled in that plan. I feel like everybody's going to know where they stand and what they feel. Well, I feel like they're doing well. And even if they don't agree with me, I'm going to say that's what I think. And so, um, I think there's I think there's good in stressing your players within practice, within mm -hmm. certain games. Like you're going to be at a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. That's a stress that you need to put them through so you can see how they react, so you can help them to learn resolve the ability mm -hmm. to to overcome. Those are yeah. all good things. But to live in a state of fear, anxiety, mm -hmm. and stress from us because if we they don't know how we're going to show up i mean i had three years of that in college before coach drew of yeah. not knowing hey how is he today hey yeah. well, i heard this is that that's hard not, that's not healthy no it's and, not and, and, and if we're talking about maximizing our kids effort their their show up their uh confidence mm -hmm. we have to create this environment where those things can flourish and I think I think you're doing a really good job of that. And, and confidence is the biggest thing, you know, like and I, I don't like telling kids that's a bad shot. You know, I'll tell them like, hey, it's off one foot. 
So like, that's not like, I don't like shots off one foot. I'm a big, I'm a big two foot in the paint guy. I kind of got to that. Villanova and taught us that that's Vill- the, the Villanova. Yeah. The <laughs> Villanova J right. You know, world. But, um, but like, but like, like you said, if, you have a kid, like I had a kid at Halton. He was a, a, not a very good shooter, but he was a division one football player and he was just a competitive kid. And he, and he knew that he wasn't a good shooter, but he was so competitive. We'd be in games. He would, he would step into one early and he would throw it in. So I never really tried to get in the kid's head like, that's a bad shot. What are you doing? You know, if it's a challenge shot or like I would say, Hey, it's a challenge. Let's, let's, let's find a better one. But if you're always wondering, is this a bad shot or not? Kids aren't going to make it, especially nope. subpar shooters, you know. Yeah. And you know how it is. You play certain coaches that you know those kids. They're telling those kids not to shoot. And you don't have to really guard them because nope. they're going to be so timid. And so it's that their eyes never reach the rim. Yeah. Uh, I just – it yeah, bugs I'm me. It bugs me. Yeah. So uh, shooting scale, you want to hear it real quick? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I got this from PG- PGC, so I can't, uh, I can't take credit for it all. But it's, it's one of the best things. Um, that, I mean, I didn't have it at McKinney. I got it my second year here at faith yeah. and it's transformed really the way I coach because shot selection is, uh, when, when coaches ask me about shooting or about playing fast, I always start with shot selection because mm-hmm. it's, it's the thing that will save you from tough conversations with players or player conversations that erode confidence, but it'll also free them up to take shots and to not second guess. So uh, it's on a scale of really one to 10, but we start with a 10 and it's kind of a fun activity. You can ask the guys, what's a 10? You know, what's a, what's a perfect shot? And you'll get six different answers. You know, a layup, a dunk, a free throw, an open three, uh, you know, and I'll, I'll just, I'll, then I'll kind of come back around. Have you ever seen one of those missed before? Or I'll say, raise your hand if you've ever missed a wide open layup. I have, and I give them an example. In Iceland, I missed two in a row on a mm-hmm. one on zero fast break. <laughs> so, like, it, it's possible. So, like, guys, let's just like, kind of like take them off the hook a little bit, guys. Let's just acknowledge the fact that there's no such thing as a ten. Okay, yeah. Yeah. you know, your parent comes up to me and says, "You make that shot all day." No, no such thing as a ten. So then we got okay. What's a nine? A nine is a wide open layup. And guys, we love nines. Like we will hunt for nines. We will try to find a nine every possession if it's there. And if we shoot a lot of nines, guys, we're probably going to win. Mm-hmm. Um, we, you know, we never get upset about missing nines. Like nines are just that's what we're hunting for. Uh, and then you, I'll skip eight real quick, and I'll go to seven. Seven is a wide open jump shot within your range. That within your range part is, I think, where even if you have a shot scale. If you don't show them Mm -hmm. what their range is by shooting games and by charting, then your scale is flawed. You'll still have people questioning. So that's what I said. I feel like you're on the right track because you're charting things. You're having them do shooting games. And when again, we don't have a list of charts all around. We verbally, we we have all we do is shooting games. We don't do really anything volume Mm -hmm. uh, wise because I want them always shooting a shot that I feel like there's a time component, there's a pressure component and a in a row component. Yeah. Like out because those things are real, realistic yeah. to the to what a game feels like. Um so because of that and I mean there's there's billions of those that's ex- extreme. There's thousands of those games that you can play and we'll just and I'll I'll find new ones all the time. I just got one from Mike Dunn, the shooting coach the other day. I had a talk with him and he he's 99. 99 yeah. shooting. It's you get uh, three points for a made three and then a minus three for a missed. And you got to get to 99 and you got to get there as fast as possible. Like I haven't done that with my guys yet, but that's a, that's a great game. And cause you would get there in 33 shots. You'd get there because you'd make 33. That's 99. Uh, Me, I'd probably take five minutes cause I'd go negative for a while, then move back up. But so once we establish what their seven is, I'll, I tell them guys, like my seven is a paint touch. Like I'm, my seven is right at the block because I don't shoot anymore. I can't play. Mm-hmm. So we will establish what your seven is. If you are open for a seven, you can always shoot that seven. Yeah. That seven is not tied at all to time score momentum. Doesn't matter. Yeah. The only exception, late game, two minutes left. 
if we have pulled the ball out and we are delaying, we're yeah. not going to shoot sevens. But then the scale comes in, guys, hey, fellas, only nines at this point. Yeah. Like right yeah. there, there's a big dis- – if somebody shoots a jump shot, a seven, like I said nines. Like that. that's where you yeah. can't just say only good shots yeah. in that moment. You could say only layups. I get that. Like that's about the same thing. But so but then – Go but something that, that they that they know they know all the time. So it's like that's like that's in the heat of the it's, moment they know it, the nine is. You know, yeah, so. yeah. No sevens, got it. You know, like <laughs> so then uh eights. Eights are contested layups. And eights are really good because one, like you, off of two feet, you can get fouled. Mm-hmm. You can go to the free throw line, you can play through contact and finish. And so we'll still like if we're getting to the paint and we're getting eights and nines. Like we're on our way. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you move to sixes. So sixes are contested jump shots. And w- I always tell the guys, if we are relying on sixes, we're probably going to lose. Mm-hmm. The number one reason why people lose games is shot selection. Mm-hmm. It's not anything else. Yeah. Maybe other things. Lack of effort? Well, crap. You're not going to win anything, yeah. any time. But shot selection is something we can control. If you lost it, ask – if you lost by uh, eight or less points in your career, everybody's hands in the air. That's one bad shot a quarter. Yeah. That's one six a quarter. Yeah. And so the problem with sixes, though, is you can start to blur those lines where you're better shooters. If you teach good preparation and shot speed, they're allowed to shoot some sixes or their sevens may actually look like sixes. Mm-hmm. But, you know, if you're the ball is out of your hands, and that closeout is late, mm-hmm. even though it's contested, you're not bothered by that hand at all. Yeah. Yeah. And so uh, people will say they shoot, they'll, they'll say that about us, that we shoot a lot of contested threes. I disagree. Yeah. I think we shoot a lot of sevens that are fast, but we yeah. train that way. Oh, yeah. now, and once you go through sixes, you go down to fives. Fives are 50 50 shots. Mm-hmm. You got your step backs. You got your uh, your really deep threes. You got one-footed lips. You got your floaters. The mm-hmm. things that 50-50, would you bet money that you can make this shot? So the whole idea is if we – if I look back at our game or I bring them in at a timeout and our offense has been producing a lot of fives and sixes, that gives me clarity on why – guys, listen, we need to attack the paint more to create – more help, better pitches for more sevens. Because right now it's mainly sixes. And then, Mm -hmm. fellas, right now, when you get to the paint, you're showing a lack of control. If there's defenders in there, you got to be off a two. Those will create eights for you. Mm -hmm. It takes that – That rarely is it any emotional, we're taking bad shots. You know, don't you care more? Like, no, like you take that out and you just speak by numbers – yeah. And then fourth fours or four, fourth grade shots, you know, st- like we just don't do that anymore. And yeah. we don't go even the rest of the scale down. We yeah. just don't even mess with it. But yeah. that right there, man. Um, That's good. That's, I like what, that a lot. What enables us to shoot 63s in a game and me be comfortable with almost all of them is the shot scale. Yeah. And uh, well, I mean, you know, anything like shot selection does because – you can be a really good defensive team, but if you take bad shots, they're shooting layups. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you, yeah. How many times in the game, I mean, you miss a layup or shoot a bad shot, they're going to score on the other end. It's always happened. It's like, you just, it's just like, like the way the game flows. And so I, I really like that. I might try to steal that from you. So. The toughest thing, the toughest thing to do, I think, for us is resulting, to mm-hmm. stop resulting. Um, don't grade a possession and its success by just shooting percentage. Yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, crap, if that's the case, then 35% of the time we're happy, yeah. right? Like, I mean, if you're a good shooter, but if your offense is producing seven, eights, and nines, yeah. you can look at the score and be like, guys, we're down eight, like our la- one of our last games here, we were down 18 to four. But I said, said i didn't call a timeout and and at the quarter listen i know that doesn't look good but your shots are great like you're 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 doing the right things so just continue to trust and and then we're down three at half 
it's tied at the third and we win by 10. But like, yeah. if I'm resulting, I think this is just, isn't our night yeah. or. Well, I think, I think a good point too, like, like to your point with the kids, it's like, Hey, this for you is a six. If you make that one more pass, that's it. Seven exactly. or eight. And exactly. so it's like, which one is our possession better? Like, well, you had a chance to get an eight. Yeah. You, you know, so I, I, I like that. A, a powerful thing. question to ask is then you, you said it earlier too. Um, instead of why did you shoot that shot? You ask them rate that shot mm -hmm. and just ask it like calmly. And they'll look at you and they'll go, coach, that was a six. I'm like, yeah, I agree. I think so. And I think, I don't feel, I don't want you to feel like you're forced to shoot a six. Trust mm -hmm. your teammates. What if it's a six and he's close in your bubble and there's no one else to one more to, what can you do? Well, coach, I can lift. Yeah, you can lift them and then you can attack. And you, so you can take that advantage that was given to you. You didn't cash in, but now you can create an even better one for your teammate. But it's a way to go about shot selection. You're still telling the truth, but mm -hmm. you're not ripping them apart. And I think what you're doing is, hey, the next seven you get, though, make sure you pull that thing. You know, yeah. hey, my best shooter's 0 for 5. Well, what's about to happen to you on your next seven? I'm probably going to go off. That's yeah. right, you are. But I just don't know if you get there by saying good, bad, or great. Because yeah. it's not, it, 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 it's, it's so it's vague. gray, you know, yep. it's just gray. You don't know, there's no specific. And you know, like I said, every kid is different. This is seven for you and eight for you is different than, or seven and for it, you. That's the beauty of it. It's all based on what? Their work. Yeah. Not what I think. Yeah. It's, listen, <laughs> Grant, one of our, like in our green, yellow, red, he is, six feet above every time fellas and so i'll jokingly say sometimes like hey you guys want to look really smart when he's open on the floor he needs to get it yeah. <laughs> and it's not because i love grant any more than i love you look at the look what he's doing yeah. and yeah. so we celebrate that we promote like that's the thing people people think with playing a free-flowing system that well there's tons of turnovers it's all bad shot selection and your best players don't get the ball as much as as they should it's the exact opposite yeah. lower turnovers at a certain point when they when the speed slows down in their head right mm -hmm. and they can just oh, yeah. talk they can talk slow while the game's going fast like mm -hmm. that's that's important that's the thing. And, and then shot selection it flips or the percentage flips to where we're shooting the right shots fast but we're not having a lot of makes and then and then the best players like there's a pecking order a natural pecking order that that flows mm -hmm. if the our worst shooters are shooting more shots than our best players it's going to be discussed it's going to be like they're going to know instead mm -hmm. of oh man this is great like no you're and i don't like that you're open for a reason all of our guys should be shooting if they're open yeah yeah sorry man i just went no, for a long no, time I, 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 nobody's I, I, ever asked me to talk about shot selection, so that well, was my I, that I, was my window. <laughs> I like it. No, I'm, I'm 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 probably stealing that from you, so we might be. I stole it. I, I stole it. It's the great. best. I'll tell you, it's the best thing I've ever stolen. Yeah, right there. That's awesome. Thank you for checking out today's episode. Please take a moment to subscribe to this podcast, share it with your fellow coaches, and find us on social media for what's coming up next on the Jamodi Podcast. It's just a matter of doing it.